Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is the Unacademy Need PG platform. This is the part 3 of our revision series. If my voice is audible to everyone, please put a message in the comment section. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dr. Anand. We are just starting the session. I would like to confirm whether my voice is audible to everyone. This is the Unacademy Need PG session. My name is Dr. Anand. We are going to talk about very important. We are doing the Pediatric Rapid Revision Test Series. And I guess my voice is coming. Yes, because I am myself. I am able to hear my voice. So, yes, pediatric plays a very important role where we, you know, cover most of the most important questions which are helpful, which will give you a very good idea of how the, you know, question pattern is going to come. My name is Dr. Anand. Let's start the session. First of all, we had a test today. Today is 26th of February and today we had this amazing test in the morning, uh, what you called a mock test. I hope you guys have done really good in that. Hello, Shagupta. Hi. And uh, also in the, what you called, uh, we are introducing this beautiful notes for the NEAT PG. This is the duration. This is the price and this is the final price after discount. So 19 subjects are there and all subject notes are there based on the classes of the top unacademy educators. And you have to unlock it. You have to, if you unlock it, like you have to use the code. The code is Dr. Anand. It will be little financially beneficial for you. As the prices are hiking very soon, you can take them whenever you want. Also in the Unacademy, we have something known as plus subscription, where basically you get all the access to the live and recorded classes, a beautiful access to the amazing MCQs and live test and quizzes. In the iconic subscription, we have something known as iconic subscription. You get the Unacademy platform and the prep ladder subscription all the video lectures clinical notes question banks everything you get of the iconic subscription <clears throat> Congratulations to our amazing FMG toppers who have worked so hard and now I want you all to be there on these faces, on these slides and also tomorrow morning we have a Feb 27, 2022, 9 a.m. Grand Test February for the FMG students. If you are free, give it. If you also have a special class basically. If you are a newcomer, download an Academy app and most importantly, you can get access to the special class where we put a lot of MCQs poll. You know, we put a lot of, you can ask any doubt. All the lectures are recorded. You never miss any classes okay we have made various batches like previous year previous year question bank questions batch uh, fmg 2022 comprehensive batch and also we have a nine months comprehensive batch and as next year next is coming for everyone that batch though it's already full and it's very good everyone should come we have a neat page 2022 all educator revision batch we we'll basically will do the revision classes then you will do self study then we'll take a test then we have a solution discussion so that you get a rank one in the exam okay that's it let's start the topic and today's topic of choice we're going to be doing the neonatology series this is the part three part one and part two we have covered this is the part three yes exactly yes <laughs> okay so hi shagupta hi umesh hi osama and hi hemal so what do you called uh, this uh, uh, ganja uh, is uh, asking sir what will happen to my pg seed if there will be a word war hmm, now this is a question to think what will happen to your pg seed something will do let there be a word war first and then we'll think about the pg seed but i don't think so it will happen everything will happen beautifully don't worry about it let's cover the mcqs let's cover the test series of the neonatology of the rapid revision of pediatrics part 3 this is like back to back back to back sessions seven uh, seven i am trying to talk to him but i am not able to talk to him today i will after this class i will talk to seven also where is he and um, hmm yes exactly abhi savan nahi aaya hai maine savan ko message bhi kiya hai wo thoda sa busy hai and uh, i am waiting for his call uh, karke maine abhi usko dobara message kiya i hope he will reply very soon correct uh, so now it's uh, what you called uh, next 40 minutes i'll be asking you 400 questions get ready correct order of suctioning during neonatal resuscitation aims may 2018 question so what is the correct order of suctioning? Everyone knows mouth followed by the nose. It is not mouth, nose and trachea. Tracheal suctioning is not done. It is obsolete. So it is mouth followed by the nose. Next question. Resuscitation of a newborn with new unit with heart rate less than 60 uh, includes uh, what you call all of the following except. Okay. It includes all of the following except. What do you think? A, B, C, D. What all it includes? Yes. Neat pattern 2018 questions. Yes. Almost like all of the above it includes. We can give chest compression. We can give ADR. We can give endotracheal intubation. So everything it includes. So option number D basically is the best answer. Next question. 
a newborn in emergency in a state of shock a newborn is in emergency is in a state of shock which is the ideal fluid to be given to the newborn so recent question 2018 which is the ideal fluid to be given to the baby what do you think the options are normal saline dextrose 5% ringer lactate and uh, dextrose 25% what do you go, what do you think anand osama nishi umesh mm, exactly umesh uh, osama bro remember uh, okay umesh is also wrong and osama is also wrong normal saline animals is in shock shock if the if the question was the newborn is in hypoglycemia then you would have answered the answer would have been 10% dextrose right if the newborn is in hypoglycemia then the answer would be 10% dextrose and if the newborn is in shock the newborn is in shock the shock basically the answer the newborn should has nothing but our kya kehte hain exactly if the newborn is in shock what will you give the baby exactly if the newborn is in shock you will give the baby nothing but normal saline normal saline for shock we will give normal saline and most importantly for our this one for hypoglycemia of course for hypoglycemia you will give what for hypoglycemia you will give 5% dextrose or nothing but 10% dextrose that you should know okay very good so i'll repeat again for hypoglycemia for hypoglycemia 10% dextrose will be the best choice for shock the best choice will be normal saline and how much ml per kg anyone how much ml per kg we give uh, uh, 10% dextrose in a case of hypoglycemia yes 2 ml per kg 2 ml per kg of 10% dextrose we give in neonatal hypoglycemia 2 ml per kg of 10% dextrose we give in neonatal hypoglycemia very good next question definitive contraindication of bag and mask ventilation jipmer november 2016 question definitive contraindication of bag and mask ventilation yes the definitive contraindication of bag and mask ventilation is congenital diaphragmatic hernia right next question yes don't stress the could haves don't stress the could haves if it should have if it it would have it's a nice quote it's a very very nice quote so uh, someone uh, tagged me also on ig regarding this uh, the other quote that's very nice so uh, it's a very nice quote don't stress the could haves काश ऐसा होता काश वैसा होता आई विश आई कुड गेट अ सीट आई विश आई कुड गेट लिटिल मोर टाइम आई विश माई पेरेंट्स वुड बी मोर सपोर्टिव आई विश आई कुड आई कुड हैव अ गुड बेस्ट फ्रेंड आई विश आई कुड हैव अ रूम मेट विद आई कैन शेयर एंड रिवाइज एवरी थिंग सो डोंट स्ट्रेच द कुड हैव इफ इट शुड हैव इट वुड हैव अगर होना चाहिए होता तो हो जाता तो डोंट स्ट्रेच द कुड हैव इफ इट शुड हैव इट वुड हैव ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन delayed cord clamping fast fast what are the positive and negative points so in the question number 1 should we do delay cord uh, should we do delayed cord clamping yes or no but that is the first question you should answer me should we do delayed cord clamping yes or no what do you think what's the answer yes the answer is yes we should do delayed cord clamping we do uh, uh, you know delay the delayed the clamping of the cord by 30 to 60 seconds right we do that okay why why do we do delayed cord clamping what will be the benefit what are the positive point when too much of blood will go in the baby when too much of blood will go inside the baby what will happen any idea uh, what is the benefit when the blood will go inside the basic delayed cord clamping is i am pushing extra blood in in the baby back from the placenta to the umbilical cord to the baby what will happen what are the chances of this one positive points anemia will be less chances of anemia will be less chances of intraventricular hemorrhage will be very less chances of blood transfusion will be less chances of uh, ivh you know uh, chances of necrotizing enterocolitis will be less so everything will be less all benefits all pi prevents from anemia ivh blood transfusion and nec right and what is the negative point anyone when too much of blood goes inside when too much of blood goes to the baby what will happen the more blood will go means more blood will break down right so the more blood can become viscous number 1 apolycythemia asymptomatic polycythemia is the negative point the baby can have and too much of blood going means too much of blood breaking down means too much of bilirubin nothing but jaundice so jaundice and asymptomatic polycythemia asymptomatic word is very important so asymptomatic polycythemia and jaundice are the two disadvantages we have for the delayed cord clamping the benefits basically are the baby will have anemia less chances of anemia ivh bt blood transfusion and necrotizing enterocolitis that's it
okay 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 yeah this is a good one and if there is a delayed fall of umbilical cord that's another pg question if there is delayed fall of the umbilical cord what is the benefit what is the negative point delayed fall normally when the umbilical cord should follow by five to seven days of life by five to seven days of life umbilical cord should follow if there is delayed fall of the umbilical cord then what will you think of anyone there's only yeah exactly there's only one answer leukocyte adhesion defect lad lad type one yes it may lead to sepsis of course severe sepsis and the, that severe sepsis form one disease entity is there known as leukocyte adhesion defect known as leukocyte adhesion defect again another uh, pg question next question yeah this is a good one so recent question 2017 please read the question and answer yourself read the full question and answer me thank you Hmm. Let's see if you can answer. Anji, delayed clamping of the umbilical cord at birth is associated with all of the following except. So, what do you think? Delayed clamp of umbilical cord uh, is it a a a associated with improved uh, iron status? That's true. Improved in clinical anemia at two to six months of life? That's very true. Increased chances of jaundice having baby? Yes. It leads to symptomatic polycythemia. Is this line true or false? This line is false. It leads to asymptomatic, asymptomatic polycythemia, not symptomatic polycythemia. That is why C is our best answer. Yes, very good. Okay, what else? Yeah, which of the following is the best drug, best route actually of drug administration to a newborn baby? Ames November 2016, which of the following is the best route of drug administration in a newborn baby? So umbilical artery is the best route, umbilical vein is the best route, interosseous is the best route or intratracheal is the best route. What do you think? Which is the best route for giving drug administration to a newborn baby? So the best answer is anyone, anyone, umbilical vein, UVC, umbilical venous catheter is the best answer. Next one, I'll show you one video. Tell me what is this? What can we see in this baby, anyone? What can we see in this baby? Kya hai ye, this whitish, whitish thing. What is this whitish, whitish thing, anyone in this baby? Who will tell me? this whitish whitish thing yes very good so what is this whitish whitish thing in the baby any any random guesses what do you think anyone 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 yes very good so this whitish whitish thing i'll show you one more picture also yes the baby is so cute na? julie house baby nice and this baby is this very cute but i remember i this delivery was there uh, last to last week the baby was just quiet and very nicely the eyes and the whole body just pure, pure soul. That's purity in the in the face. Pure purity is there. Yeah, this is Vernix caseosa. This is nothing but Vernix caseosa. Sir, what is Vernix caseosa? Basically, that this whitish sticky material, this whitish sticky material is nothing but Vernix caseosa. Helps in preventing hypothermia. Helps in preventing hypothermia in the baby, known as Vernix caseosa. Next question. Yeah. Please tell the full forms. What is NBCC? What is NBSU? And what is SNCU? Anyone? Yes. <laughs> Osama says, "Lag raha hai powder lagaya hai." Ha ha ha. Aise lag raha hai. Julie says, "But my most favorite picture is your brand picture, which is everywhere." Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to show you. Let's show you the photo. I like this photo. It's a photo. It's a very photo. Which photo? This one. Yeah, this is one of my favorite picture. I remember I was a kid, bro. At that time, like I was not even knowing how to teach. And I was in first year MD, I remember. In my, this is my first year MD picture. And I was so new. And uh, I was so new. And the only thing I knew was to love kids. I The only thing, my HOD, you know, I, you know, uh, I always tell you like uh, one advice I would like to give you all. Like always um, listen to your elders. Listen to your elders. As in even listen to your teachers also. <clears throat> my use, my friends used to make fun, you know, of our elders or I would say teachers or HODs. But I was, I used to listen to them very carefully. 
whatever they used to say even till today also like i'm having some interview also after some days and today also my hod uh, called me and he's like hey, this is important read this topic this is important take cl sit at home read read it's important don't do classes and all sit at home and read read that topic that's important and all that so i was listening to him and i was like this is important what he's saying and uh, even in my that time also my hod used to say that you like being a md candidate you are a resident and the meaning of resident is who stays in the hospital premises 24/7 for the best of the best learning of the you know pediatrics so i used to stay 24/7 in icus and there in my pediatrics ward and icus and all and there i got the baby like in my in our nico and it was such a cute baby and i had this, such a bad habit of clicking photos with the pictures like i any anyway, i'm a selfie addict and at the same time this cute cute babies this like another level you know that gives me goosebumps so it's nice actually so i love these babies they are very good that's why i always say you one thing follow your passion follow your passion you want to be a compounder be a compounder and be happy you want to be like a singer like shreya goshal be a singer you want to play badminton play badminton so follow your passion i think follow your passion is important yes three important things what is these things what is nbcc what is nbsu what is snsu yes exactly so uh, julie it's not he it's she wo female baby hai male baby nahi hai wo theek hai ha exactly so nbcc is newborn care corner nbcc is newborn care corner newborn care corner what is nbsu newborn stabilization unit newborn stabilization unit newborn stabilization unit so newborn care corner newborn stabilization unit and what is snsu snsu is special newborn care special newborn care okay special a uh, newborn care that's what so that's what so newborn stabilization unit newborn care corner and snsu and remember in snsu it's 12 plus 4 you know like for example 12 beds should be there and 4 beds for rooming in rooming in matlab mother and baby together in nbsu it is 4 plus 2 and newborn care corner only one bed is required i'll repeat again for newborn care corner only one bed is required for n newborn stabilization unit it is 4 plus 2 okay 4 plus 2 and snsu it is 12 plus 4 again this question now yes exactly yeah no stabilization unit for newborn care corner true snsu special newborn care unit comprises of what west bengal pg 2016 question anyone what is the answer a b c d special newborn care unit mein kitne chahiye hote hain rooming in and uh, how many beds a b c d umesh julie osama shugupta yes the answer is 12 plus 4 very good next question In a neonatal resuscitation, the chest to ventilation ratio. Tamil Nadu PG 2015, Maharashtra PG 2016. So so many times 2015, 2016. So many times the question is coming. Very important. Yes. So what is the best answer for this one? You will give guys. So yes. What do you think? Very good. Very good. Yes. You can say that. Perfect. Perfect. Very very nice. And yes. Very good. so that's the question so uh, chest to ventilation ratio chest to ventilation ratio i think everyone knows the answer is 3 is to 1 b is the best answer yes very good next yeah this is a good one to provide the immediate care <clears throat> yes to provide the immediate care to all the newborns at birth a health facility must have within its delivery room yes what to do so to provide immediate care to all the newborns a health facility must have within its delivery room what a b c d the answer is the health facility should have a newborn care corner natural hamare hospital mein bhi uh, what do you call this baby is also very cute no this one so in our hospital also what do you called uh, next to the delivery room like in the delivery room we have always have a nbcc newborn care corner okay that's over and yeah uh, question 73 uh, what you call dose of uh, iv adrenaline in a term infant during neonatal resuscitation uh, recent question 2016 what do you think what's the best answer a b c d what will you answer for this question what do you think anyone <clears throat> okay very good very good very good that's right yes right the best answer for this question is nothing but 0.1 to 0.3 ml per kg in 1 is to 10000 dilution uh 3 ml per kg no uh, other than a c would be the best answer no 
पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट थ्री एम और पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट थ्री एम पर के जी सो पर के जी विल बी अ बेटर आंसर देखो यहाँ गलती ऐसे छोटे क्वेश्चनों में गलती होती है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर ओके दैट वे सो डू अ बेटर मतलब अच्छे से करो ठीक है वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई द डिवाइस वॉट इज द डिवाइस टू टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन वॉट इज दिस डिवाइस एनी वन वॉट इज दिस डिवाइस वॉट यू कॉल दिस डिवाइस ऑप्शन आर वेन ट्यूरी मास्क अम्बू बैग नेजल कैंडल एन एल एम ए सो येस ए बी सी टी वॉट यू थिंक Yes, the best answer is Ambu bag. Ambu bag, known as bag and mask ventilation, also known as intermittent positive pressure ventilation. Intermittent positive pressure ventilation. Okay, done. Next, what is this device? Anyone? What is this device? Yes, yes, very good. Yeah, what is this device? The answer is is nothing but laryngeal mask airway. Is nothing but laryngeal mask airway, right? Ah, uh, yeah, laryngeal mask airway. What is this? This is known as venturi mask. Venturi mask. Mask. What is the full name? Is venturi mask. It's nothing but venturi mask. That you should know. Yes. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Ganja also nice. Yeah. Very very funny. Ganja says, should we also always carry this in our bag? Why do you want to carry? Are you asthmatic? Are you on beta blockers or beta agonists? Or do you want to strangle someone with this? Why do you want to carry? <laughs> Why? Why do you want to carry, bro? This one, but good if you carry, carry. Okay, carry one for me also. Okay, together we will carry. No problem. Yeah, this is nothing but the venturi mask, and this is nothing but nasal cannula. It's nothing but the nasal cannula, nasal cannula, and venturi mask. Normally, once we put this to the patient, itna pyaar se to koi smile nahi karta. Do you guys also? Do your patient also smile that beautifully? Once you put a venturi mask, Julie, हमारा तो बंद के ऐसे ऐसे तो पेशेंट वो डॉक्टर को ही मारेगा ठीक है दैट्स इट या एग्जैक्टली वन सेकेंड इजी ये तो हो गया यस एग्जैक्टली यस वेरी ट्रू लेट्स स्टार्ट प्रिया सेज बिकॉज इज बैग एंड मास्क ओके बैग एंड मास्क ओके दैट्स क्यूट हाँ जी सो या द ब्यूटिफुल कोड अगेन डिफिकल्टी इज द एक्सक्यूज डिफिकल्टी इज द एक्सक्यूज हिस्ट्री नेवर एक्सेप्ट डिफिकल्टी इज द एक्सक्यूज हिस्ट्री नेवर एक्सेप्ट सर डिफिकल्ट है सर नहीं हो रहा सर याद नहीं हो रहा सर सर बहुत डिफिकल्ट है सर मैंने बार बार किया नहीं हो पा रहा सर बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट हैं सर ये सर वो सर ये सर वो सो डिफिकल्टी डिफिकल्टी इज द एक्सक्यूज हिस्ट्री नेवर एक्सेप्ट So if you want to be in history, if you want to be remembered for something, difficulty is the excuse. History never accepts. So don't say it's difficult. Okay, say it's awesome. I will do it. I will do it. Yeah, very true. Yes, Ganja, always appreciate you, Baba. How do you assess the severity of distress in a newborn? Nice question. How do, it was the Ames question. How do you assess the severity of distress in a newborn baby so depends sir is this newborn baby a preterm baby or a term baby this newborn baby is a preterm baby or a term baby what is the name what you called what is the name of the scoring system what is the name of the scoring system to know the assessment of severity of distress anyone what is the name of the scoring system anyone so yes very good for to assessment of the severity of distress in a preterm we use something known as Silverman and Derson score. We use something to some something known as Silverman and Derson score. This is a scoring system to assess the severity of distress in a preterm. To assess the severity of distress in a term, we use something known as Downey's score. Downey's score. So that you should know. So Silverman and Derson score and Downey's score. These are the two scores which we use in a case basically for the. Exactly assessment of severity of distress. Someone says Abgar score. No dear, Abgar score is different. Abgar score is a scoring system to know the clinical evaluation of the baby. Abgar score is different, and this one is different. Okay, thirty minutes over. Just twenty more minutes left. Then this class is over. Okay, what are the points of the Silverman and Derson score? Can anyone tell me what are the important points of the Silverman and Derson score? So the Silverman and Derson score points are upper chest retractions, lower chest retractions. Deepward retractions, nasal flaring, and grunt. The five important points of Silverman and Derson score are nothing but. Let's have a look. Yes, exactly. We have upper chest retractions, lower chest retractions, deepward retractions. Then we have nasal flaring, nasal flaring, and grunt. One thing we need to understand, like, कितना score होगा that the baby will go into respiratory failure. So more than six. 
if the score is more than 6 baby is going into failure baby is going into failure and what is the normal upguard score anyone what is the normal upguard score who will tell me what is the normal upguard score yes exactly very true umesh is right yes the normal upguard score is more than 7 so remember more see more than 7 here the upguard is normal but more than 6 silverman anderson score means the child is going into failure so it's different okay upguard more is good and Silverman Anderson score more is bad that you should know and yeah greater than 7 true and what about Downey score what are the important points of Downey score so in as you know in Silverman Anderson score all three are club all three are there no upper chest lower chest and Z fold in Downey's it is all club to only one that is retractions number one the patient will have retractions number one then very importantly grunt also is the same the grunt also is the same what are the other points respiratory rate is the point air entry is the point and a respite let me check yes so retractions retraction is the same grunt is the same then cyanosis air entry and respiratory rate cyanosis air entry and respiratory rate respiratory rates yeah that's very true again that is downy score <clears throat> that's it done okay let's see if you can answer this mcq this was the aims question this was the aims question aims video question actually a 32 weaker newborn baby with rr86 it's a preterm 32 weaker less than 37 is preterm right 32 weaker with rr86 actually so do you count uh, rr in a case of preterm uh, for the assessment of severity of distress the answer is no you count the rr basically for the term babies right for the term babies to assess the severity of distress you count the rr for preterms maybe you don't count the rr so is this question saying rr 86 okay okay fine but i'm not gonna count that grunting present with naked ear grunting present with naked ear means like this is the grunt right so we have nothing but zero one and two zero means no grunting one grunting means grunt is audible by stethoscope and second number two grunting is grunting by naked ear so here the grunting is naked ear so i am giving two points right no nasal flaring of course that is zero abdomen behind in movement then the chest that is known as seesaw respiration seesaw respiration is very bad so number two remember normally my thorax abdomen should move together together up and down up and down it's normal so here seesaw seesaw abdomen going up and uh, this one going down like that so seesaw that is bad too uh, you should give and what else minimal intercostal retractions and no z for retraction what's the best answer for this question yeah exactly four actually uh, the best answer for this question should be actually five because minimal intercostal retraction the it's nothing but four plus one it is coming so five but six definitely is not coming so that is why our answer will be five Silverman so Anderson score the answer will be five then severe bradycardia in a newborn severe bradycardia in a newborn how will you tell severe bradycardia is less than 100 or less than 60 b or d what will you choose anyone let's see Shaf shafakat praveen umesh vishwakarma priya himal vitani umesh vishwakarma shagupta what do you think so uh, what do you call a b c d yeah the best answer is ganja acha pad ke aaya ganja very good ganja where are you from ganja show me your face where are you from which city which uh, this one so yes, less than 60 severe bradycardia. Ames 2009 question. A baby born with meconium stained liquor. All of the following are taken into account for terming that baby vigorous except. So which is not a component of vigorous baby. Which is not the component of vigorous baby. What do you think? Very important. Yes. Yeah, very good. So Hemal, Priya, Karthik, Shagupta, Umesh, Anand and Osama. Bro, what do you think? What is the, what is a vigorous baby? Anyone? Uh, <laughs> Ganja says I am from India very good I was not knowing only I thought you're from Jakarta hmm so heart rate more than 100 good muscle tone and good efforts right yeah so heart rate more than 100 good muscle tone and good efforts are the points of vigorous meconium strain baby so color color is not a part of vigorous meco or non vigorous meconium strain baby that's very true next question mm. okay that's okay leave it leave it 
ओके दीज आर मल्टीपल ये बहुत पुराना क्वेश्चन है छोड़ो ऐसे क्वेश्चन क्या करने छोड़ दो बहुत पुराना क्वेश्चन है ओके एग्जैक्टली लेट्स मूव फर्दर फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स मोर देन दिस क्लास इज ओवर द स्ट्रगल द स्ट्रगल यू आर इन फॉर टूडे द स्ट्रगल यू आर इन फॉर टूडे इज डेवलपिंग द स्ट्रेंथ यू नीड फॉर टूमोरो The struggle you are in for today, the struggle, the pain, the hard work, the so much of craziness which you are doing, the struggle you are in for today is developing the strength actually you need for tomorrow. So it's good. Keep working hard. It will be helpful. Yes. Oh, my favorite Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha is nice. Okay. Next important again. Don't lose focus. Again, please don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Everything will make sense by the end of the journey. The next topic is primitive neonatal reflexes. The important questions on that. I am going to show you video. I will not. I, I will not bore you. Of I also will get bored if I start reading this. I don't like to read that. Only pictures and videos. Yes. I'll show you one video. Tell me what is the answer. Yes. What is this? क्या किया मैंने ये? Hmm. Varun says, Sir, you are like you're looking very handsome today. Hats off. Handsome bro. Okay, thank you. But मैंने आज नया नहीं ढंग से मैं. I have not taken bath. Without bath, I take. I look so good. Thanks, yar. So nice of you. Tomorrow I'll take bath. <laughs> I'm kidding. What was this, bro? What is this? One, two, three. This one. Yes. What is this cute thing sister did on the baby? So this nothing but yeah. So yeah, you can say the tap effect. Glabular tap. Blink. Yes, exactly. Very good. So yes, this nothing but glabular tap reflex. Nothing but glabular tap reflex. Next question. Chuck. Okay, cute set. Chuck. Anji, what is this? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. चला गया वन सेकेंड आई जस्ट चेंज वो आवाज कम कर दें तो जिंदगी अगर इतनी प्यारी होती किसी का भी हाथ पकड़ते वो थाम लेता तो क्या चीज है ये क्या थामा इस इंसान है सो ब्यूटिफुल एंड सो स्मार्ट वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दिस क्या है ये यस एग्जैक्टली धीरे धीरे बोल कोई सुनना ले ले कोई सुनना ले शाम को मेरी तबीयत बहुत खराब हो गई थी आई गॉट सो टायर्ड होल डे आई हैड सच अ बिजी डे आई हैड नाइट ड्यूटी आल्सो सो आई 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 थिंक आई एम अ सुपरमैन आई शुड राइट समवेयर आई शुड आई शुड बाय अ सुपरमैन टी शर्ट आई हैव थ्री सुपरमैन टी शर्ट एक्चुअली आई शुड वेयर देम एवरी डे ठीक है दिस पता नहीं कौन सी मूवी का डियर गाना धीरे बोल कोई सुनना ले बहुत पुरानी मूवी का है पुरानी मूवी का है Uh, one second, I have to revise with one of my junior. He's saying he wants to sleep, and I'm telling him don't sleep. Yeah, baby, have good biceps. <laughs> Who said this? Kamal is saying it is nice. Yes, uh, Priya says, sir, today it's not classes. Why? Actually, I have to finish few hours. Actually, I'm I'm I was lagging behind. That is why tomorrow also, if you guys are free, we have tomorrow also. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Today's what date is it? Today is this now. Today is what we called. Uh, uh today is the 26th of february so 27th of february means tomorrow and 28th of february we have six classes we have a class at 7 pm 7 to 8 then we have a class at 8:30 pm 8:30 pm to 9:30 pm then we have a class at 10:45 pm so these three classes uh, what we called are there on 27th and also on 28th so anyone is free on these dates and timings can come and join if not no problem theek hai hmm mm-hmm. Okay, done. Okay, so please, uh, yeah, that part is over. Okay, let's move with the videos. Okay, what is this? So, what reflex is this? Anyone? What reflex is this? Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Yeah, what is this reflex? Okay, well, let's revise again. What are the components? What are the component of this re- reflex? Anyone? Yes. Very importantly, yeah. What are the components of this reflex? The answer is, uh, if. If possible, could you send me the audio of what we spoke today? Sorry, I was messaging my junior. Actually, I have to read uh, this. What was it? I had to read something. Okay, yeah. So, Muru reflex. Very important. This is the Muru reflex. The components of Muru reflex are: there's a cute baby showing Muru's reflex. The component. Everyone of uh, us knows the components. Number one, there will be symmetrical abduction. Abduction. extension of like abduction opening of hands abduction opening of hands abduction and baby cry abduction opening of hands abduction and baby cry and that's for the muru reflex and when does which one comes abduction comes at which weeks opening of hands comes at comes at which weeks and abduction comes at which weeks so opening of hands comes by 28 weeks abduction comes by 32 weeks and abduction the last component comes by 37 weeks 
this is very important this is very 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 important okay yes so 28 32 and 37 very good yeah and uh, this one this is over and then yeah exactly let's talk about these five questions most common bone to get fracture in a newborn so which is the most common bone to get fracture in a newborn yes everyone knows the most common bone to get fracture in a newborn is clavicle what are the causes of asymmetric moro reflex what are the mo uh, causes of okay one second Hmm, yeah exactly so what are the causes of asymmetric muro reflex exactly fracture clavicle is cause of asymmetric muro reflex shoulder dislocation brachial plexus injury congenital hemiplegia earth's palsy clumkey's paralysis all these are causes of asymmetric muro reflex yes exactly you know that right very good so the causes of asymmetric muro nothing but fracture clavicle earth's palsy shoulder joint dislocation congenital hemiplegia all those conditions again coming back to this one what you called uh, uh, exaggerated muro reflex and absent muro reflex can anyone tell me what are the causes of exaggerated muro and absent muro so stage one stage one hie stage one hie will have exaggerated muros whereas stage three hie stage three hie will have absent muro stage three hie carnictrus even carnictrus also will have an absent muro in a case of down syndrome also the baby will have an absent muro whereas stage one hie will have an exaggerated muro and even hypoglycemia even hypoglycemia also will have a exaggerated muro understood yes right very good priya is right osama is right Pan pancake pancake kahan se aage? <laughs> pancake good very good very good so uh, very good everyone is perfectly right proud of you persistence of muro reflex where do you see persistent of muro reflex the answer is cerebral damage whenever there is a cerebral damage you will see persistence of muro reflex okay persistence of muro reflex good that part is over perfect 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 okay questions asymmetric muro reflex at birth is indicative of what aims may 2014 question a b c d what do you think yes very good and uh, yeah asymmetric muro reflex at birth is indicative of what so the options are hie brain damage uh, earth palsy and the connectors what do you think the answer is earth palsy the most commonest cause of asymmetric muro is earth palsy next question uh yeah this is very cute pamela anderson so okay 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 what is this anyone video based question i have done this already what is this video based question baby showing to you what is this yes very good so the baby is showing what the baby is showing to you if you see the baby's hand the baby is having a policeman's tip the baby is having a policeman's tip only one hand is moving like that normal but the other hand apne aap hi niche yeah exactly kemal is right policeman's tip policeman's tip exactly which reflex is this seen in the picture the reflex seen in this picture is nothing but atnr what is atnr atnr is asymmetric tonic neck reflex asymmetric tonic neck reflex what is the other name of asymmetric tonic neck reflex bow and arrow reflex bow and arrow reflex what do you what do you called uh, how do you elicit it if i turn the baby head to one side if i if i turn the baby's head to right side right limb will extend and left limb will flex right limb will extend and left limb will flex if i turn the baby head to left side left limb will extend and right limb will flex so this is nothing but known as what you called bow and arrow or asymmetric tonic neck reflex and it disappears by six months remember when does muru disappears muru disappears by six months asymmetric tonic neck reflex disappears by six months and remember six months baby like normally when i turn the baby head to one side this part it will it will become like this right if i turn the baby head to right side right side will extend and left side will flex so six month old baby six month old baby if i if i turn like this he will not do this that this reflex disappears by six months and baby starts to roll over yes the baby starts to roll over so a baby can roll over by six months a baby can start to roll over by six months that you should know okay six months six months yeah that's it done 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 and the earliest neonatal reflex to disappear is the rooting wo rooting wala the earliest neonatal reflex to disappear is the rooting and voluntary grass appears when palmer grass disappears what was the palmer grass i showed you right the palmer grass 
तुमने नॉर्मल ऐसे रखा बच्चे ने इसको ऐसे पकड़ लिया ठीक है सो यस सो दिस इज नथिंग बट पामर ग्रास बट इट इट डिसअपियर्स द नेचुरली वॉलेंटरी ग्रास अपियर्स ओके व्हाट इज दिस रिफ्लेक्स वेट आई शो यू द वीडियो इट्स अ वेरी इजी रिफ्लेक्स कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज दिस यस तो वंस आई एम पुटिंग द बेबी डाउन वंस आई एम पुटिंग द बेबी डाउन सो व्हाट इज दिस रिफ्लेक्स एग्जैक्टली व्हेन आई पुट द बेबी डाउन व्हाट कैन बी अप्रिशिएट वंस यू पुटिंग द बेबी डाउन यू आर एलिसिटिंग समथिंग नोन एज parachute reflex parachute reflex number 1 so around 8 to 10 months some book says 9 months 8 to 10 months parachute reflex comes and once this reflex appears it never disappears okay it never disappears theek hai yeah exactly parachute never disappears that you should know very good okay what is this reflex also very important reflex this is anyone can tell me when the baby's head is down the feet goes down head goes down the feet goes down head goes up the feet goes up head goes down the feet goes down head goes up the feet goes up this is known as landau reflex this is known as landau landau reflex landau yeah. reflex you should know okay this part is over yes stepping reflex disappears by 2 months everyone knows that now do the mcqs okay mcqs asymmetric tonic neck reflex anyone asymmetric tonic neck reflex disappears by how many what do you call this one yeah asymmetric tonic it disappears by how many months a b c d what is the best answer 5 to 6 months 7 to 8 months uh, 9 months and 10 months yes asymmetric tonic neck reflex disappears by usually it disappears by 6 months yes a is the best answer hemal told right grasp reflex <coughs> grasp reflex fully developed by grasp palmer and planter grasp grasp reflex it fully develops by a b c d the best answer for this question is roughly by 32 weeks grasp ye aise pakda aise kar liya grasp respect reflex fully disappears fully wala body called develops by uh, 32 weeks okay ha ye acha hai reflex which is not present at birth aims may 2007 question kitna purana question hai uh, reflex which is not present in a child at birth what do you think cross extension reflex atnr muru reflex symmetric tonic neck reflex reflex anyone what do you think a b c d what do you think shafak shafakat praveen <clears throat> hmm so remember a t n r there is something known as a t n r and something known as s t n r so asymmetric tonic neck reflex and symmetric tonic neck reflex atnr it's nothing but atn and atn and nothing but at at okay at so atnr it's present at birth so asymmetric tonic neck reflex that bow and arrow wala it is present at birth whereas which what is not present at birth the answer is symmetric tonic neck reflex symmetric tonic neck reflex is not present at birth it comes later in life and what happens in symmetric tonic neck reflex very cute baby so nothing but extension of head extension of head causes extension of the fore limbs and flexion of the hind limbs extension of the head causes extension of the fore limbs and flexion of the hind limbs okay extension of the head causes extension of the fore limbs and flexion of the hind limbs symmetric tonic neck reflex symmetric tonic neck reflex next question magnet reflex okay leave it i have, i know this one it's not that important okay muru reflex everyone knows muru reflex disappears by muru reflex disappears by 6 months 6 months everyone knows that yeah this reflex is over next one so grow through grow through what you go through grow through what you go through and every one of us get pain everyone is into hardships everyone is somewhere lonely everyone is somewhere depressed so grow through what you go through grow through what you go through okay <clears throat> yes what is this picture let me let me show you a video yeah what is this anyone any comment Mm-hmm. is it raining in your area in delhi it is raining yesterday also in my night duty ole padha tha ole delhi also it's raining very nicely yesterday also it was raining today also it's raining is it raining at your place i think i should keep singing songs also in between you know uh, so that sabka man laga rahe what do you think hai na love bites Oh, I thought you saw my love bite. You're saying love bites. 
दिस इज नॉट लव बट भैया सच इतना चीनू सा लव बट हुई गिव लव बट गिव प्रॉपर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस नॉट लव बट दिस अरिदमा टॉक्सिकम अरिदमा टॉक्सिकम द मेन द नेम इज टॉक्सिकम बट इट इज अ बिनाइंग कंडीशन द नेम इज टॉक्सिकम बट इट इज अ बिनाइंग कंडीशन नंबर वन या एग्जैक्टली नंबर टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली हाउ इज द हाउ इज द रैश ओवर हेयर द पेशेंट विल हैव अ मैक्यूलो पैपुलर पस्टुलर रैश विद एन एरिदमेटस बेस द पेशेंट विल हैव मैक्यूलो पैपुलर पस्टुलर रैश मैक्यूलो पैपुलर पस्टुलर रैश विद एन एरिदमेटस बेस द नेम इज टॉक्सिकम इट इज अ बिनाइंग कंडीशन एंड ई फॉर एरिदमा टॉक्सिकम ई फॉर ईओसिनोफिल्स एक्यूमुलेशन ईओसिनोफिल्स एक्यूमुलेशन दैट यू शुड नो ओके यू सॉ इट येस्टडे दैट्स गुड प्राउड ऑफ यू yeah that's what right then next this is erythema toxicum next one uh, what you call this also same erythema toxicum all these rashes are erythema toxicum okay uh, do i have ha huh, this also extensive erythema toxicum this also extensively erythema toxicum okay next yeah this is a good one what is the name of this rash which contains neutro neutro neutrophils which is in black neonates what do you think anyone what is the name of this rash uh, what, what do you think yeah exactly what do you call this this is nothing but maculo papular pustular rash without an erythematous base maculo papular pustular rash without an erythematous base this is known as yeah this is known as neonatal pustular melanosis neonatal pustular melanosis that you should know neonatal pustular melanosis this also one of the conditions in a newborn which looks abnormal but is normal next one yeah this only what is this anyone kya hai ye can anyone comment on these rashes is a typical typical of neonatal pustular melanosis they do they have erythematous base no so they are maculo papular pustular rash without an erythematous base okay over what is this very easy five more minutes and this class is over what is this rash anyone ye kya hai ye who will tell me what is this and what is this itna bada bada kya hai ye chambe jaisa this is nothing but mongolian spot yes nothing but mongolian spot mongolian spot which is the most common location for mongolian spot the answer is what is the answer lumbo sacral region the most common location for mongolian spot is lumbo sacral region and uh, which is the most commonest location for a neural tube defect which is the most commonest location for a new buttock se zyada buttock sound very middle class say mm, lumbo sacral region sounds better theek hai ha so that's what uh, what you called mongolian spot and uh, which is the most commonest location of mongolian spot the answer is lumbo sacral region which is the most common location of neural tube defect the answer is lumbo sacral region yes that's true and uh, yeah and does it disappears yes osama is right ha thoda fade ho jata hai ek saal tak fade puri tarah to nahi jayega disappear hota hai par puri tarah nahi hota par ek saal to thoda wo ho jayega ha ji theek hai done next and uh, mongolian spot is also known as congenital dermal melanocytosis congenital dermal melanocytosis that you should know okay yeah that's very good, important point mongolian spot can disappear by one year ye bahut important point hai that you should know okay next what is this what is this picture who will tell me pancake fast fast it's a fast rapid revision let's see if you can answer what is this picture anyone yes very good very good what do you think ye kya hai chota chota what is this small small thing what is this so this is nothing but very importantly what you called uh, yeah hmm theek hai uh yeah this is kon kya hai ha these are capillary hemangiomas this is nothing but capillary hemangiomas theek hai these are capillary hemangiomas and uh, yeah these are known as salmon patch uh, yeah very good these are nothing but uh, uh, salmon patch is nothing but nevus simplex or also known as stork bite also known as stork bite okay so nothing but capillary hemangiomas these are small capillary hemangiomas known as salmon patch or nevus simplex or stork bite that you should know okay pancake says it is raining at her place so uh, where do you say pancake where do you stay okay mujhe to us pe na wo gana yaad aa gaya wo tha na ek barish mein barish ka to aise bade sare gaane hain tha na inne mein dil hai दिल में है धड़कन धड़कन में है तू ही तू सीने में दिल है दिल में है धड़कन धड़कन में है तू ही तू ओ मेरी पहली तमन्ना 
है मेरी आखिरी आर जू so what is this what is this picture anyone anyone what is this picture yes very good so this is if i give you the hint that this baby has keratin deposition the baby has keratin deposition beneath the skin so whenever there is keratin deposition beneath the skin it's a typical typical case of melia exactly very good it's yeah <laughs> very true so varun you are still online varun so yeah it's nothing but melia very true next question what is this is this the hard palate or is this a soft palate bachche ka muh mein hai ye ye kya hai is this a hard palate or is this a soft palate yeah very good this is one is nothing but very importantly hard palate this is nothing but hard palate mein kya hai ye on the hard palate this is nothing but epstein pearls is nothing but epstein p e a r r r uh so epstein pearls yes exactly so it's on the hard palate ye gol gol jo do hain nothing but epstein pearls they can be over at the prepuce at the penis also penis pe bhi ho sakta hai aur yahan bhi ho sakta hai epstein pearls okay next question aa jaye ye raha dekho kitna acha so yeah epstein over here can you see this very nice uh, point nothing but epstein pearls theek hai epstein nahi hai ye epstein hai theek hai what is this anyone what do you call this very good varun what is this bro kya hai ye lighting and thundering okay so what is this picture this is nothing but harlequin color change this is nothing but harlequin color change remember harlequin baby is different and harlequin color change is this different this is not ichthyosis dear ichthyosis vulgaris is this one this is ichthyosis vulgaris this is a typical picture of ichthyosis vulgaris this one is the harlequin color change harlequin color change it is a cutaneous condition seen in 10% of newborns characterized by momentary red and pale colors so you can see the red and the pale colors of the two halves of the body sharply demarcated at the body's midline it is sharply demarcated at the body's midline so this is nothing but harlequin color change nothing but harlequin color change harlequin baby is different and harlequin color change is different that's okay pancake no problem so harlequin baby this is a harlequin baby very importantly this is the harlequin baby this one with a with a contracture of digits cracked skin a contracture of digits cracks in very importantly full edema over the face over the lips very badly situation this is nothing but okay anyone and is a harlequin skin change also is kind of a mutation in which gene anyone which gene mutation is there the options are keratin 1 alox 3 fad and abc 12 a b c d what will you think ए बी सी डी सुनो दिल की सुनो हाँ जी क्या जवाब दे क्या होगी अपने दिल का तो द बेस्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज नथिंग बट ए ए बी सी ए ट्वेल्व जीन म्यूटेशन या एग्जैक्टली ए बी सी ए ट्वेल्व जीन म्यूटेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस वन या दिस ऑल्सो ऑफकोर्स यू कैन सी द स्वेलिंग ऑफ द लिप्स द स्वेलिंग ऑफ द आईज काइंड ऑफ अ स्किन लाइक दैट अ प्रॉपर रिंकल्ड काइंड ऑफ अ स्किन very tight very tightish skin so harlequin change you can say that it's a defective lipid transport it is a defective lipid transport and most importantly there is a dev defective development of the normal skin barrier defective development of the normal skin barrier it is a autosomal recessive inheritance and also you can see the thickened rich and cracked skin it's very thickened very rigid and cracked skin form the horny plates over the entire body disfiguring and constricting the digits it's disfiguring and constricting the digits so treatment is of course like when it's very difficult to put a iv line it is very difficult to put a iv line in this baby because everything is so tight and so bad and so cracked very difficult to put a intravenous line so once you will not put a intravenous line baby will end up into dehydration and shock so the patient will go into kaha chala gaya the patient will have dehydration and shock the patient will have a dehydration and shock most importantly yes and also yeah very good the patient will have a dehydration and shock and what else the patient can have the patient basically the treatment you can give is emulsifying bahut cracked skin hai na bahut hi cracked you can give emulsifying agents you know so like oral retinoids and you know or you can say this one yeah oral retinoids and uh, what do you call hygiene and vitamin a also plays a very important role yes exactly 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन या गायनेकोमेस्टिया गायनेकोमेस्टिया इन अ न्यू बॉर्न इज ड्यू टू वर्ड कैन यू सी दिस मेल बेबी विद अ ब्रेस्ट दिस वन एफ एम जी टू क्वेश्चन इट वॉज गायनेकोमेस्टिया इन अ न्यू बॉर्न इज सीन ड्यू टू वन ड्यू टू वन ड्यू टू वर्ड जोकर की हार्ली क्विन अच्छा ओके सो दैट्स वर्ड सो ऑप्शन आर ए बी सी डी गायनेकोमेस्टिया ओके जूली सेज बी एनी वन हु सेज डिफरेंस एग्जैक्टली द आंसर इज ए इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मेटर्नल ईस्ट्रोजन्स इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मेटर्नल ईस्ट्रोजन्स नॉट टू जस्ट रोन द गायनेकोमेस्टिया इज सीन इन द बेबी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके इजी या ओके सो अगेन दिस वीडियो इज देयर ऑन माई अदर्स ऑल्सो या so let's see a very beautiful picture 10 days old neonate having milk discharge from the nipple 10 days old neonate having milk discharge from the nipple so how do you approach this case can you spot the condition by dr anand so can you see that once i squeeze the nipple very softly i squeeze the nipple the baby is quiet can you see the milk discharge with your own eyes can we see with your own eyes milk discharge yes or no so very beautiful this picture is once i squeeze the nipple see very carefully can you see that a aa gaya aa gaya aa gaya aa gaya haan ji yeah this is nothing but very importantly known as galactoria or neonatal milk or witch milk chudail ka milk matlab aisa bolte hain matlab naam hai but it's normal is one of the conditions in a newborn which looks abnormal but is normal right witch milk due to the prolactin and growth hormone passed through the breastfeeding prolactin and growth hormone passed through the breastfeeding nothing but known as witch milk or uh, galactoria or this is okay that you should know okay hmm yeah okay this one is a tough one if you can answer tamil nadu pg 2013 question tamil nadu 2013 question uh, the, the following skin changes are normal in a newborn except what is not normal in this baby anyone Udit Sinha says that Mongolian spot is not normal. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Doctor Ganja, what he called, was male. Me hi tha. It was in male only. The breast discharge. So uh, the question is: following skin changes are normal in a newborn, except Mongolian spot is normal. <coughs> Harlequin color change is normal. Harlequin baby is not normal. Harlequin color change is normal. neonatal pustular melanosis which is because of the neutrophil accumulation and maculopapular pustular rash <clears throat> without with you know without an erythematous base is normal infantile acropustulosis that is not normal i'll show you a picture this one infantile acropustulosis this is a very important picture of infantile acropustulosis it's a recurrent self limiting pruritic vesico pustular eruption of the palms and soles occurring in young children and you have to give topical steroids and oral dapsone for that okay i'll repeat again ye jo aise wale dane hai ye they are usually recurrent and self limiting they are pus wale pruritic reddish and vesico pustular little watery little pus vesico pustular eruption or at the palm and soles basically in young children so you have to give steroids for this nothing but infantile acropustulosis this is not normal this is abnormal okay hi hi menal tag answer this question very nice question <clears throat> a b c d what will you answer anyone a b c d what do you think a hymenal tag in a newborn is best treated by a hymenal tag in a newborn is best treated by what what do you think anyone the options are steroids surgery leaving it alone or none of the above what do you think <clears throat> yes very good very good the best answer is leaving it alone yes leaving it alone would be the best answer exactly next question a newborn ains may 2013 november 2010 newborn baby are able to breathe and suck at the same time kahan chala gaya a new ye haath haath hilta kaise hai but aise karu to hota nahi hai aise karu to nahi hota apni marzi se hi hota mujhe lagta hai okay one second hmm. Hmm. A newborn baby are able to breathe and suck at the same time. Why? Due to what? Due to what? Wide, short tongue, short, soft palate, high larynx, and short pharynx. What do you think? Yes. Who has answered right? I think everyone has answered right. Yeah, high larynx. It's because of the high larynx only. Yeah, exactly. The baby has is to be able to breathe while suck. The baby can breathe while sucking because of high larynx. That's true. Okay. Uh, I'll show you a picture also. One second. Yeah. So what is this picture? Can anyone tell me what is this? 
वट विल यू टेल मी दिस पेशेंट हेड कम टू माई हॉस्पिटल सच ए नाइट तो अब से मेरे को आदत है वीडियो बनाने की आज कितना इम्पोर्टेंस आज मेरे को लोग वीडियो से ही जानते हैं एंड तब से मैं वीडियोज़ बनाता था रिमेंबर हाँ जी वॉट इज दिस पिक्चर कैन वी सी दैट एनी वन या येस वॉट यू थिंक येस 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 वॉट यू कॉल दिस क्या है ये वट डू यू कॉल दिस कंडीशन दिस रेड रबरी कैन वी सी दैट नथिंग बट हिमेनजियोमा ओके इन्फेंटाइल हिमेनजियोमा ओके दे आर द मोस्ट कॉमन बिनाइन ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द इन्फेंसी दे आर द मोस्ट कॉमन बिनाइन ट्यूमर्स ऑफ इन्फेंसी दे आर कम्पोज ऑफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली दे आर कम्पोज कैन यू सी दैट सो ब्यूटिफुल दे आर कम्पोज ऑफ बिनाइन प्रोलीफरेशन ऑफ द एंडोथीलियल टिश्यू आई रिपीट अगेन दिस इज इन्फेंटाइल हिमेनजियोमा बिनाइन ट्यूमर्स ऑफ इन्फेंसी कम्पोज ऑफ बिनाइन प्रोलीफरेशन ऑफ द एंडोथीलियल टिश्यू बेसिकली एंड वन डू यू सी टिपिकली एविडेंट बाई वन टू टू वीक्स ऑफ लाइफ Typically evident by one to two week of life and becomes very pro proliferative phase. You know, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are very strawberry type. Yeah, true. Rubbery. You know, they may even compress with palpation. They are dome shaped papules. Dome shaped papules that you should know. Okay, this part is over. What else should I ask you? So yeah, that's what. Train your mind for something big. इतना काफी है. बस करें आज के लिए पढ़ना है और I think काफी है. लग गया मैं. Train your mind for something big. and then the rest journey will follow accordingly so train your mind for something big like i have trained my mind for something big to happen in my life and that is why everything is happen big 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 so that's what train your mind for something big and uh, and then rest journey will follow accordingly so and it says my girlfriend lives loves strawberry okay you have a girlfriend also yes theek hai theek hai chalo i think let's finish the session here only and thank you so much for the participation and tomorrow again we have a session basically at 7 to 8 then we have a session at 8:30 to 9:30 and then we have a session at 10:45 to 11:45 in any session you are free you are most welcome to join they all are pm not am all are pms okay thank you so much for the participation yes uh, varun says your macbook gone old change it sir to pro max वॉट इज कॉल्ड मैक बुक अब भी तो लिया है गिरीश अब भी लिया मैंने हाँ तो थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन या इवन आई एम ऑल्सो वेरी टायर्ड ब्रो मेरे से तो ना ही पूछो शाम मैंने मैं कितना थका हुआ हूँ शाम को मैं इतना थका हुआ था बट आई नो आई टेक अ क्लास आई टेक अ हाफ एन आवर नैप देन अगेन आई टेक अ क्लास अगेन आई टेक अ हाफ एन आवर बैक लाइक आई एम सर्वाइविंग इन दो इन दैट पैरल लाइन थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फॉर दिस वंडरफुल पार्टिसिपेशन सी यू टू मॉरो अगेन विद द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द कार्डियोलॉजी एंड क्राइन रेस्पिरेटरी वन लाइन वीडियोज on youtube because in on this youtube revision class the good part is we can see lot of videos also on an academy app you can't play the videos yahan to back to back back to back we have lot of videos like that so i'll show you as many videos as possible in the next two days tomorrow and day after two more days till 28th of february and then we'll have a halt that's what <laughs> okay bye bye take care so jao okay take care